You're watching a Love Jack video, where I show you how to create, share, and connect through art. This is Make Art to Mail. With just a few supplies and some time to sit and connect, I will show you how to create a handmade card that is sure to put a smile on someone's face. We believe art has the power to make you happy. So let's make some today and mail some happiness to a friend. This month's creative challenge is flowers. And this card was inspired by the beautiful flowers growing outside our building. They pop up every year around this time and it's pretty fitting that they're each of my children's favorite color, yellow and red. For this card you'll need cardstock, an envelope, tissue paper in the two colors you'd like your flower to be, magic markers in those same colors, glue, and scissors. All right guys, I love the idea of being inspired by nature outside. So for this card, we're truly inspired by the flowers outside of our building. They're my children's favorite two colors, so that's another reason why I love them, and I'm excited to make this card. So to begin, I'm gonna have two flowers that are gonna be the highlight of the card. They're gonna be small, so I'm going to cut out just four pieces of tissue paper and layer them on top of each other. Now I'm going to fold them accordion style. Back, forth. Then I'm going to round the edges. And I also need a little string to keep it in place. Stand by. I'm just going to use a little bit of Baker's twine. Then to make it like a flower, you just open it up and then peel each layer forward gently. Cute, right? Okay. I'm gonna do the same thing with red. Fold it accordion style. This would be cute, especially if you didn't have to mail it, but we are gonna try to mail this card, so it's gonna be a little bit smushed once we put it into the envelope, but I think that's okay. You know what, instead of using this envelope, I'm gonna grab an even bigger envelope so that it would be less smushed, but it will be smushed, and that's all right. For the main base of it, we are gonna make more of these, but just simpler. So this is what we do in my art class all the time. You take little pieces of tissue paper, crumble them up, and then put them on the paper, and it looks like beautiful flowers. So this is gonna be our base. A little bit of glue, and then a little bit of tissue paper, and then a little bit of glue, and then a little bit of tissue paper. It will be a beautiful textured card at the end of this. Kinda just fill it all in. Put a bunch of glue over here. Another fun thing to do with this is if you want it, you could make a J or you could make um, a certain pattern. I'm just gonna make it varied, just like the real flowers are outside. But it would be cool to use the same type of technique and make a letter or you know a heart or something. I think that would look really cool. This would be great for a birthday, for a birthday card. It also would be fun to make these cute little things and put them on top of a present or use them as some other kind of decoration as well. Okay, so here is the final card. It looks so fun, right? It's a little bit heavy, but I think for what it's gonna do, which is make your friend super happy, um, it wins. Wins all, all the way around. You could also, if you wanted to use hot glue to make sure these stick, but I think the regular glue will be fine. You just have to let it dry. Um, now, for the envelope, I was originally gonna use this envelope, um, which is the one that came with the card, but instead I'm gonna grab an envelope that's six by nine, it's just a little bit bigger. That way it won't be as cramped in there. So this is the box that I have them in, and I use them to send my cards when I get an order. So just so you have an idea of how big they are. They're six inches by nine inches, and I feel like this way it won't be as cramped and smushed in the card. For the envelope itself, we're gonna use these two markers and we're just gonna make an awesome pattern of basically the same thing but two dimensional because I know that if I tried to mail that in the mail, it would get all smushed and ruined. So I'm not gonna put any, so I'm not gonna put any tissue paper on the outside. I'm just going to use this. And this is kinda to me what it looks like. They're very layered. So it's almost like a little cloud with a cloud on top of it. A little cloud with a cloud. 
little cloud with a cloud. Just kind of make bumps. Um, and to me, that's what the flowers look like outside. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of like make a little border for where I'll put my friend's name. And actually, let me open both of these just so I get them. I don't want a whole thing of just, whoop, just red. Ironically, when I teach my art class, the book that I read about Georgia O'Keeffe, which is our flower inspiration, is called Little Cloud. So the fact that I think these look like little clouds is kind of funny, I think. Little cloud, little cloud, little cloud, little cloud, little cloud. And so I will write their name in here and their address, and then the rest I'm just gonna fill up the entire thing with these beautiful red and yellow flowers. I truly love getting inspired by nature and the nature around us specifically that we could see in real life. So this is a fun way to take that inspiration and make it into something tangible that you can then mail to your friend and send the happiness along. Another reason I like this style of decorating your envelope is you could really zone out and just, you know, make your little clouds, make your little layers, your petals. Um, think about whatever you want to think about and at the end it's just gonna look awesome just because of the volume of it and honestly you could do something like this on a regular card even if you just bought your own card um, adding to the envelope is always super fun if you only have time to decorate the envelope I think that is still worth the time voila and don't forget the back I'm gonna go over here now and do the back as well, but um, you know me, I always believe it's important to do the back. And then I'm just gonna write small in here, my friend's name and address. Oh, let's talk about the stamp really quickly. Okay, I think it's time for me to go to the post office and get more stamps, because I don't have really a red or yellow stamp. This is all I really got, and then this. I'm gonna go with the American flag. Or you know what, I'm gonna wait and see if I can get a more red stamp next time I go to the post office. Um, since I am not mailing it now. You know me, I like to coordinate my stamps, my postage stamps with my envelope. This video is dedicated to my friend Molly. Molly is one of my favorite people on the planet and is a ray of sunshine in everyone's life that has the pleasure of knowing her. I'm finding that the theme to my dedications this month is positive vibes. Molly puts all of them out into the world. Molly is a city girl at heart living the ultimate life in the country. She married one of the best guys around and their wedding video is hands down one of my favorites. I still watch it sometimes because it makes me that happy. Molly is a fantastic wife, mother, friend, basically any role she has, she's the best at. Molly, I love you. It was amazing seeing you last month. Thanks for the invite and making the weekend amazing. And thank you for watching. Have you used the code YouTube over at lovejack.com to receive an extra 10% off our already discounted cards? If you haven't, now's the time. We're having a huge sale on a bunch of our designs that we no longer will be making more of to make more time to have classes and workshops for you guys. So please head over there and take advantage of that sale. One card that will not be discontinued because it's one of our most popular and I love it is the happy birthday card featuring the balloons. Fun fact, the photo for that card was taken right around the corner from the apartment Molly and I lived in for one of the most amazing years of my life in New York City. Pre-chat, of course. All right guys, I hope you all have a wonderful week. I hope you have time to check out that sale before it's over and I will see you next Monday. Thanks for watching.